kind of start by trying to get a shot of like the whole room, which is not really easy to do. It's actually impossible. I'm realizing now it's not possible. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so crappy. Um, okay, that's the room. So, starting off over here on the stairs, we have these happy face stickers. Now, those are for those are for safety purposes, okay? <laughs> because that is basically so that you don't fall down the stairs. They're reflective, okay? Um, check this out. <laughs> this is so stupid. Vintage garbage can. I mean, I don't know. I think it's pretty dope, okay? So over here, oh, there's like, yeah. Um, that is just where I keep like my. Can't even see it. That's like where I keep my like um stuff for filming. So there's like my ring light, tripod, other stuff down there, camera bag, vintage suitcases, my sticker. I don't know what you call this sticker art piece thing, my sticker wall. I showed this on stream before. It's obviously way huger now. Basically just whenever I get a sticker, put it on here. My Barbies. I think I've shown this in the background of a video. I want to do also like another video where I do like a kind of a full in-depth look at some of my collections. Talk about them more. Like I'll do doll collection. I'll do like comics, like other things. But it's just a quick look. What you would see if you were in here and you were to just come across this. He has Gwen Stefani, or Debbie Harry, these are like celebrity ones. Got some movie ones up here, there's Daphne from Scooby-Doo, Frenchie, Grease, Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, Glinda. There's Ashley Olsen, I used to have Mary-Kate. That is actually her locker right there. And it's full of all her accessories, but yeah, I have no idea. Some stuff just like, when I moved, like some stuff just disappeared and I really don't know where that went. This is cool, it's like a vintage um, Stacy, I think it's Stacy. And she came with like just a, this was a gift and it came with just like a Ziploc full of random clothes, and this was literally the only top she had. And it's not even really a top. <laughs> it's like the only one. They were all bottoms. Those lockers back there are just from like some dollar store bar, like dolls, but I kept them because they're like, they look cool. Brats, oh yeah, okay, wait. Okay, got some brats here. That is, I think that's Sheridan from Brats Forever Diamonds. We got. Jade, we got Yasmin, Rock Angel Yasmin. This one I think is Dana, I think. Back there, there's a Bratz boy. He's just like a roadie. <laughs> and then of course, Kim Possible. And, okay, so here's the funny thing. I never actually had a Kim Possible doll that was like new. Like, okay, I never had a new Kim Possible doll. When I was a kid, there was one at a thrift store, and I, it had like this outfit, only outfit, and I was like, oh, like, oh my god, Kim Possible, right? Like, I bought it. And then my brother drew all over her face with pen, which he did to a number of dolls. He did that to my Atomic Betty, my Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you know, like all the cool ones. And yeah, but then. <laughs> Like, as an adult, I found another mint K 
Kim Possible doll at a thrift store, but she had no outfit. But I had this outfit, so it was like, oh my god. Well, that's it. Works out, doesn't it? Okay, what's down here? Marietta Little Lamb. Her lamb should be there somewhere. Where is it? Is her lamb not there? Oh no, there it is. There's the lamb. Okay. This is like a bicycle Stacy. She rides a bike. McDonald Land. I think that's actually Whitney. These ones are hard to show on the bottom. I'm like lying on the ground. It's got Toy Story. Oh god, these ones. Such a horrible angle. Okay, that's really painful. Um. Okay. Ow. Okay. Moving over to this area. We have this shelf. So starting at the top here. Got that cute little Harley Quinn. Little Luke Skywalker. I like to show these full frame maybe. Just some random hats. Got down here we got some Sailor Moons. And back there, when you can see it, is a Pixel Chicks, which were these weird, sort of like a Tamagotchi, I guess, but it was like a girl, and if, if you left it long enough, she would like get mad at you and, and leave. You had to play it every day, or else she got mad. So Bedtime Serena over there. Uh, she has no pajama pants anymore, so. That's why she's tucked into bed over there, okay. Oh, these are like so cool. Simpsons, Burger King, Treehouse of Horror toys. We used to get these every year. And I I swear I had way more than this. I don't know what happened to them, but I know I had way more than this. Because I had like a, um, it was a little Maggie with a pumpkin. That was like my favorite one of all time. I used to <laughs> bring it to school and stuff. I mean, as a really little, but yeah. That one's not. That was just a, um, some random other Simpsons Burger King toy. Okay. Next shelf, we got some cool stuff here. So we've got Diva Stars over here, which were these cool, I don't know, some people don't really like the design of these because I guess they have really big eyes and everything, but I like them. They look kind of Japanese and they're cool. They would talk. This one was actually interactive. I will go into more detail on these in my um, doll collection video, but yeah. Oh, up here. Can't really see. Up here there's Yo Yogi's, which was in the 90s when they tried to like revamp Yogi, make him cool. It's got Boo Boo and Cindy. Those are some little collectibles from New York. These are vintage, um, hang on. Excuse me. And these are some vintage Montana Max stickers, Tiny Tunes, like uh, from one of those like sticker vending machines. Over here we got Monster Highs, unfortunately kind of in the shadows, but that's my favorite one. And then, ah, oh, you can't really see her back there. There she is. All their accessories are kind of down there too. The ones I had left anyway. Okay, what's down here? Ooh, Spice Girl stuff, okay. Spice Girls stickers, got some Spice Girls dolls. Again, not the ones I had as a kid. As a kid, I had Ginger. You can see I still got her, her shoes and this little thing that came with her, her dresses back there. But some kid ripped her head off. So now I have these ones, which are both from thrift stores. This one was mint condition. Like, look at her, she's got I don't know if you can see that, but she has her little glasses. Can you see that? Her little glasses, little microphone, everything. This one was naked, so this is not her outfit. That's just sort of a baby spice-esque little dress, but yeah, back there, that is, if you guys remember the show, Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi. This is a doll based on like the real 
The Real Girls, the real band it was based on, that is Yumi, I believe. Got her accessories back there. If you had both the dolls, I think they could talk to each other. That was the same with these. They could talk to each other. And then back there's the van, which like opens up. Oh yeah, that's a Spice Girls. Lollipop tin. Just, yeah. Okay, there's the Hi Hi Puffy Yummy Yumi van. And it opens up and it's like a whole little place up. Here's the thing. I had, uh, it came with two dolls. It came with both the girls. And I had two more. I had the little ones you would like push their head and the face would change, the expression would change. And I have no idea what happened to them. Like once again, just totally lost. Um, also same with her. I had all her clothes. Now all I have left is that pajamas and the tank tops. Like I have no idea what happened to this stuff. It's like it was there my whole life, then moved suddenly not in the boxes. I don't know. Okay. DVDs, obviously not gonna go through all of these, maybe in a video, if anyone's interested, but some movies, you know, feel free to, feel free to um, <clears throat> rag on me in the comments, tell me what a loser I am. Down here, uh, what are these? TV shows. TV show seasons. Yep. And continued. Over here. There's just some random stuff. Bluetooth speaker, ray gun from my alien princess costume. It was, ugh, fell down. That is, um, little conky finger puppet. He came with one of these Trailer Park Boys DVDs. I think it was actually uh, the Christmas one. Okay. If I sound out of breath, I'm sorry. It's really hard to like squat on the floor and get these angles that I'm getting. <laughs> I'm so sorry if this video is terrible. Okay, Pop Funkos. I'm not really crazy about these, but I get them as gifts sometimes. So I got Morty, Evil Morty, and these two I, I genuinely love. <laughs> Ricky Bobby and uh, John Gerard from Talladega Nights. Okay. Eh. Futurama stuff, Leela Bobblehead. Try and get like better shots of these. Bender, Amy. We got some Venture Brothers, Dr. Venture, Hank. Little weird Brock back there. Henchman, 21 and 24. Dr. Girlfriend. Uh, these two broke on the move. His arm fell off and her arm and leg. Oops, her arm and leg fell off and I had to glue them back. And there's like a little Hamtaro thing or something. South Park. Oh my god, I used to <laughs> I used to be so into South Park. Whenever I had money when I was like like 13, 14, I would go to the comic book store and buy one of these little little guys. <laughs> oh, that Wendy back there is not really an action figure. She's just like this crappy thing from a vending machine <laughs> that you like put together. It's weird. But yeah, oh yeah, South Park. Guitar pick, and I used to have a bunch of these. I had Timmy and I had Stan, I think, and I don't know what happened to those either. <laughs> These are Disney dolls. So over here, <clears throat> there's Tiger Lily, and she's like, um, it's like a Japanese thing. It's a, called a Pulip doll, and it was randomly in a Winners. It's like, okay, it was like the only time I'm ever gonna see this sold in America, or it's sold in Canada, sorry. And I was like, might as well get it. Like, uh, that is. Aurora and Jasmine, they're both from the same release, the same series. Like early 90s, they were my mom's and then I kind of just ended up with them when I was born. Maleficent back there, this is like a really cool, oh you can't really see it, this is like a big giant Pocahontas and it has like this weird little like hook thing, you're supposed to like hook these like charms in her hair and braid it and stuff. It never, I could never do it as a kid, it just tangled up. Mulan, two Mulans actually. And even have the hair combs they both came with. You know, they would say like, you know like back then the Barbies would come with stuff with like, for you, like a hair comb for you. There's her little hair comb. And she could like, you put water on her face 
it would make the makeup appear and disappear, and that's the same with her. That's why her eyes look so, like, faint. It's because you could put water on them and make it look like she's asleep. Down there, vintage Barbie airplane. I'll open it up, show the whole thing when I do my doll video. Little window bench area, you know, air conditioner. These little pillows, they're cute. My cat mostly uh, just sleeps on there. Oh yeah, I forgot. Princess Serenity and this is a marionette from Prague, I think is where it's from. Okay, I have to hurry because my battery's dying. So I got my little white chairs with the cushions on them. Uh, over there is the my dresser, with some little stuff on there. Okay, yeah, and my stuffed animals. I always film. I always film in front of there. You guys probably know that area well. I could do a full uh, stuffed animal thing too. Oh, lemon wedge rug. That's never on camera. There's my bed. Wait. I didn't see that. Yeah. Anyways, that is my bedroom tour. So if you like that video and you want to see more in-depth things on my collections, I well, I'm gonna be doing that anyway. So you should subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.